beautiful Gemini, welcome to my channel. This is Baba Jolie here with your general love reading. I've already cleansed your space and I've meditated on your cards. For those of you who are returning, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for your wonderful likes, shares and subscribes. I'm truly grateful for all your beautiful energy. Just a little reminder that this is a general reading, not a one-to-one -one reading, just so you're aware. Also, please be mindful, scammers are about to pretend to be me and lots of other tarot readers. I do not do personal readings. I do not take money, e-gifts, donations. I'm not on Facebook, WhatsApp, PayPal, Telegram or Patreon so anyone masquerading as me on any of those platforms please report them or ignore them it is a scam let's get straight to your general love reading I'm going to cleanse your space hourly so please be mindful there's going to be three loud sounds just so that we can sync our energies and let us begin Okay, so I'm just going to get your uh, general overview energy, the faded energy for the next couple of weeks. I'm using the White Witch Tarot uh, by Mayor de Aust just to get that for you. Um, also, I'm going to do a Celtic cross uh, just to get the details and see what's going on. This reading is from mid-September right through to mid-October. Let us begin. Thank you so much, Spirit Guides. Great Angels, can you please guide my beautiful Gemini? What do they need to know regarding their love situation? Uh, what is it you would like to talk about? Okay, we got Tower. Wow, okay, so that is a protagonist energy. We've also got Judgment, and we got the Magician. Okay, Gemini, you are making some uh, major shocking moves. This is your protagonist energy, the tower. Now, I'm going to clarify and see if this is what you're experiencing, a real tower moment. Um, now, tower moments, they are surprises, okay? Things we're not expecting uh, that come to shake up the energy. So this is, for example, if you've been sitting on the fence on something and you, you're trying to make a decision or you and a person um, have been... Um, sort of in a, in a stagnant energy, nothing's happening between you and that person. The tower often uh, sort of uh, comes about in order to shake up that energy and uh, sort of break up any stalemate energy so that there is movement forward. It is often a positive shift, but people feel it's negative in the moment. It feels uncomfortable. So for example, if you think about a lightning bolt that is fate intervening in order to, uh, normally in the traditional right away to row, uh, the lightning bolt br uh, breaks open the, the crown chakra on the tower and it uh, the tower basically represents a prison that maybe you've been going round and round in or feeling stuck in a pattern with somebody or maybe you feel like there's just no love for example and then all of a sudden a lightning bolt moment between you and a person occurs which means you've come out of that pattern you've um, you know you have to come out of your comfort zone in some way and release something in order to uh, make something greater something better it is often a positive transformation but it comes in really quick and you're not expecting it. So um, I'm going to pull a card and see what this shocking energy is for you or what it is that you're not expecting. So it could be that there's love out of the blue. It could also be that someone from your past returns out of the blue because we got the judgment card right there, which is a card of second chances, uh, weighing up second chances or deciding to release and deny a second chance. Uh, and also we got the magician card in your unified energy, which is about whatever you think about Gemini, you're bringing about. You are the master or the mistress of your own destiny. Thoughts are becoming uh, things and visions are being turned into reality. Um, so uh, the magician card indicates you can sort of magnetize whatever it is that you're wanting so whoever you're thinking about whether it's someone from your past that's what you're magnetizing towards you whether you're trying to manifest new love and leave the old behind that is what you're drawing towards you so let us clarify this tower for you um this is the way of the panda to Rome by kimberly m san uh thank you so much spirit guys great angels Ooh. we've got the six of wands and we got justice in the reverse so something that um Something that you felt was unkind, some sort of shocking behavior that perhaps someone pushed you away or there was something that they're not talking about. Uh, something that, um, you know, maybe someone had a lack of accountability with you and you had some sort of dispute with this person. Um, something that you feel uh, someone may have been dishonest with you, for example. Uh, you may have felt really stuck in this situation with this justice card. Um, 
You may also feel like th there's a karmic energy with this person um, or it's yeah it's like something there's like a sterile environment with you and this person has become quite clinical or uh, you know nothing's happening it's like stalemate um, there's no movement forward there's no solution that has been found to a situation there's been no truth coming out there's been no conversation um, there's gonna be a shocking change here where we got the six of wands which means it's going to turn out positive the six of wands is news coming towards you maybe a message out of the blue from someone who was unkind to you or I mean I gotta be honest Gemini uh, maybe you were unkind to this person but it was um, because they warranted it for example you know we're not all saints uh, or sinners there's often many dynamics that go on I gotta be honest and be open to the fact that you know this person may have really hurt you so therefore you had to push this person away cut them out um, and you know be unkind or do whatever it is you had to to sort of like um, protect your wonderful self because I feel like it's a protective energy six of wands says this person's like either messaging you out of the blue um, let me just see I'm gonna clarify again thank you so much spirit guys great angels can you please clarify justice in the reverse the hermit it's a reason why you are on your own okay I mean we're getting double seven so that's a lot of synchronicity and um, sort of um, energy that brings about change the hermit uh, this is a person that uh, really made you think about things really gave you a huge um, enlightenment moment in your life something really shocking happened here or something really changed your dynamics with this person in quite a really sharp way that it was I feel like it was like an instant disconnect okay um, the, the hermit card is a solitary energy so now I feel like you've had a lot of time to process what happened here um, and really focus on your own needs be reflective of the situation um, and you know gain enlightenment um, you know uh, I feel like this person there's an element of this person who feels they've had a lot to think about as well I feel there's a, uh, an energy of withdrawal from this person this person either I feel like this person ran away we got seven of Pentacles here and we got the seven of swords so this person is looking to save this union uh, seven of swords uh, can mean that you're gonna run away far far away from this union okay uh, the seven of Pentacles says this person now the energy we got we've got Libra energy we've got a little bit of fire going on there Aries Leo Sag we've got some Virgo energy Scorpio Aries very strong Scorpio Aries energy here okay uh, we've also got uh, yeah I mean strong Scorpio Aries that's all literally Scorpio Aries Scorpio Aries okay so uh, seven of Pentacles says can we save this it also says uh, the energy that I put into this is it worth it for what I get out of it okay um, is it worth saving so I feel like you're really weighing up your options here and wondering because this seven of swords is an energy of um, withdrawal it's an energy of um, someone uh, disconnecting from the union perhaps a lack of accountability or someone avoiding their feelings not really wanting to face up to how they feel about the situation so they ghost the situation or they walk away because they just can't take it okay so I'm gonna pull a separate card all by itself on that seven of swords because as you can see seven of swords this person wants to mend it uh, there's a star there on this card this person is a little bit cheeky uh, someone who is uh, you know very cheeky with their words uh, but I feel like they do bring uh, an element of wanting to save it or heal it in some way um, I mean you know you're getting a little pirate panda there so it's like can I trust this um, so let us clarify uh, now they just want me to show you um, because I feel like this is something that you now are like I'm not sure if I want this but it's in your head to entertain it so either this person's reaching out of you reaching out towards you out of the blue and you're weighing up your options or you're like what the why are you why are you reaching out I don't want to hear from you uh, I really don't know what I do not want to go back to that part of my life and I'm leaving it behind so uh, I'm not really sure but anyway um, they want me to show you the seven of swords in this deck so I will and then I'm going to clarify the seven of swords as well um, so the seven of swords here um, can you please show me the seven of swords uh, what they want me to show you is the seven of swords um, the person in the seven of swords ca uh, card um, is stealing five swords and running away but they're looking back so it's almost like they're looking back for some sort of reaction Gemini um, you know if they truly wanted out of your life completely fully it's in the center they did this the other day uh, as well or the in a last reading as well they wanted me to show the seven of swords and it was all, it's always in the center anyway um, 
So as you can see, they're leaving a situation. If they really wanted to leave the situation and never come back Gemini, they would definitely not have left those other two swords behind. So as you can see, this person is carrying quite clearly three swords in this hand, but only two in this one. So that does suggest that they have the potential to carry more swords, but they left them behind because they're always looking back. Um, so it's, it's this person, you know, I feel like this person thinks back to you a lot. This person is in their head a lot um, towards you. This person may have pushed you away because they did not want to face their emotions, but they always wanted to keep a foot in, a foothold. Now, be careful, of course, of a dangling carrot, my beautiful Gemini. Nobody should ever keep you on hold um, or play mind games with you or any of those things. So you know yourself what situation you're dealing with here. But I really feel like this is something they're coming back to heal it, asking if they can save it. But I just get this energy of you're like, I don't think so. The tower is I feel like you're going to shock them and say, uh, uh, not this time. OK. There is a slight resistance to the judge. I mean, the judgment card is in the resistance position, which means it's in the reverse. So right now it's denied. Access is denied to you, Gemini. Um, well, it's not access is denied to you. I feel like you are saying access is denied to the other person, the person who wants to heal this. OK, so I will clarify this closely, but I feel like you're going to shock them by saying no. You no longer have access to my life. You do not have a free pass to just come on in and sort of um, treat me however you want and then just leave. Have open up a dialogue, a conversation, make me feel like perhaps, uh, you know, rather than going round and round in circles, uh, I feel like you're breaking the pattern. OK, as you can see, it's round and round in circles there. Uh, you're having a real epiphany moment, a breakthrough on something where if it was stalemate, I feel like you're taking back the power and saying, I'm choosing. I'm doing this, okay? Now, the judgment card, as I said, in the resistance position, deep down, you may be weighing up your options saying, you know, I feel like there's clarity here where you're like, should I actually give this person an opportunity but uh, to, to come back into my life? Should I give this person a second chance? I feel like you're really evaluating the situation, but you're at a bit of a fork in the road. And as it stands, because this card is basically like it turning up in the reverse, as it stands, it's like, no, um, I feel like, there's a blockage. There's a lot of self-doubt with this, Gemini. Even if deep down you wanted to be with this person and you really want to give this person a second chance, I feel like you're not sure whether you can trust it. Um, and there's a, a, there is a stagnation with this. It's like stalemate energy. Uh, judgment card. I do feel like you know what you need to do in this situation, but I feel like there's moments of you second guessing yourself, Gemini. Please know that your intuition will never lead you astray. If you were wanting a breakthrough with this person, I feel like there is one. OK, I feel like you're taking back the power. You're probably going to show this person I've got strong, healthy boundaries now. You cannot uh, sort of treat me however uh, you want in the union. But I feel like you, you're so um, your boundaries are so high now, though. I feel like this person perhaps may not. Well, they have to do a lot of work to climb them to get back in. Let's put it that way. Uh, I'm just going to clarify this judgment card for you. Whoa, uh, we have the tower and the page of cups. Now, they just said to me the page of cups was on the bottom of the deck. In the reverse. Uh, now I'm gonna have to look back on the video to see if that was uh, correct because I did not see that. So, um, but they said uh, this came from the bottom of the deck, and uh, so they're indicating this person was immature um, in the uh, whatever shocked you or whatever uh, you know uh, the breakup. There was also a potential for this person to be a little bit immature if they don't get their own way. Now, Gemini, who would want to be with a person like that who stomps their feet and does things like that? Um, there's this person may also have codependency, okay? Uh, they, there's codependency issues here with this person. Um, I feel like you did not see this person really withdrawing their love. I feel like it really did take you by surprise. I feel like you got burnt in this, Gemini. So I'm sending you a huge hug, a lot of love for you um, out there uh, because I, I've been there, I understand. Um, but this person is coming for a second chance. You don't get the judgment card unless um, this person's reaching out for a second chance or that, um, you know, you're even contemplating. Uh, but I feel like the, the resounding decision at the moment from you, Gemini, I feel is no. OK, so I'm just going to um, even if there's love, I feel like you're, you're hesitant. So just because I mean, getting two towers that in two different decks, that's that's telling me something major. OK, uh, this is telling me that uh, this relationship 
had the potential to bring you to your knees. Um, but I feel like you're manifesting a new beginning here. So let me just clarify this. I'm using the um, Archean Tarot by uh, Timothy Lands. I'm only reading the upright in this deck. Thank you so much for it, guys. King of Wands. Okay, King of Wands energy. So this card is, uh, you know, someone who is very passionate, someone who's very bold, uh, Aries energy there. Um, so someone who, um, I'm just going to pull another one because I feel this person is going to try and win you back. Because King of Wands energy is someone who is like, chases after a goal or a dream and is confident that they're going to achieve it. This is someone who's an influencer, someone who is quite well liked by people in general, someone who is um, temperance. They're, they'll be patient with it as well. And we got the death card. Oh, one more. Thank you so much for it, guys. And the Queen of Pentacles. Okay, so I feel like this person is very sort of attracted to you. They find you, you know, uh, they think about you a lot, uh, especially uh, during moments of real sort of... Um, intimacy i feel it's different uh in terms of vulnerability this person does not open up to vulnerability is what i'm getting uh, i feel like they use like sex for intimacy that's their style of intimacy um because i feel like they're in um an immature frequency at the moment it doesn't mean that they're not going to have growth uh, we all have a journey uh, gemini there's no blame here i'm not here to say he said she said they did they didn't you know i'm here to understand the energy so that i can transmute the energy for the outcome the temperance card indicates this person's coming back into some sort of balance if they were chaotic in their energy before this person's level things out they've weighed up their options they've weighed up what they want in life and i feel like this person um is seeing um that they may have been in ex they may have, may have been in excess they may have been out of control in their energy and not balanced when they were with you um, and the death card I mean this the death card signifies an end of an old pattern or an end of something in order to um, for it to be new to rebirth something the the death card is off, uh, also is often a transformation a transition um, from one state to another and especially since you got the temperance card as well this person is turning one thing into another this person wants to it's like the phoenix from the ashes this person wants a new beginning they want to change they want to transform um, and they want to bring something more stable we got the queen of pentacles there um, you know this person um, queen of pentacles is often an energy of um, you know domesticity settling down being committed to um, a person to uh, you know um, whether it's a goal or a dream uh, you know being enthusiastic about uh, making money or uh, you know building a solid foundation or perhaps raising a family with someone Queen of Pentacles is someone that uh, you know you want to settle down with um, and you know, build a home with so I feel like this person is really trying to uh, break a pattern or break something and come into uh, some sort of stable energy to sort of win you back okay uh, now I'm just going to uh, clarify a little bit more with an intention okay I'm going to ask a direct uh, question uh, this person's intention towards Gemini this person who returns their intention towards Gemini what is their intention towards my beautiful Gemini Ooh. I mean they want to talk to you we got King of Swords in the upright this person wants to talk to you um, we got Air Swords um, and we got the judgment they want to return uh, so this person you know Gemini I mean that's your card okay this person thinks about you a lot they think about you all the time this person wants to open a discussion with you they want to talk they want to tell you the truth they want to sort of open up and take some sort of action I mean eight of swords I feel like they want to talk about where they were stuck or where they overthought the union where uh, they denied themselves uh, the truth of the situation they didn't really want to see they kept themselves bound and stuck in fear um, and I feel this person especially with that judgment card it says can we have a second chance you know what is this person's intention they want a second chance they want to come back they, they see that you are uh, their life's purpose they want to uh, take that walk that journey of life with you and they want to return okay so um, let us see what else is coming here for you the unified energy is the magician card now the magician card says you can have whatever it is you want Gemini you just got to think about it focus on it believe it to be real and it shall be so the magician card also says confidence 
okay? Confidence is an aphrodisiac. You have the power of thought to manifest your uh, future. So whatever it is you're hoping for, whether it's new or whether it's old, uh, you can have it. So uh, you just got to focus on it. Uh, so I'm just going to pull a quick card on the Magician card. Can you please clarify any details? You want justice for the person who, um, who ran away? Um, or you want the truth, the whole truth and nothing but the truth. You want to find a solution. You want something that's fair, balanced. Uh, but I also feel like the justice here, and please don't shoot the messenger when I say this, Gemini. I'm not here to sort of... Um, take sides, as I said, there's part of me that I'm getting a, a very strong percentage of energy that is, um, you want to show them what it feels like by running away from them. Uh, almost like that would be a revenge. Okay. Uh, so, um, just remember, uh, and again, I'm not here to judge you choose your path. We all have free will, but when people start playing games, I mean, there's no winners, there's no losers. Okay. Uh, sorry. There's no winners. There's only the losers. Um, so, if this person pay, played a game with you, I can understand why you would think to mirror their actions back to this person and show them. Um, now, deep down, we all feel those moments. So you're not alone. I'm not pointing a finger at you. I've been there myself and gone, you know what? I'm just going to show that MF, you know, what it really feels like to have no communication. Let them see what it feels like to not have me in their life. So uh, I've been there and I completely understand that. So I feel like right now you're thinking that the solution would be to show this person that they can't have access to me and that I'm going to run away. But uh, whether you communicate it or not, that's your call. Um, the Justice card to see that beautiful panda. I love it. That panda is kicking that other panda right in the face. So you feel like this person deserves some really good karma. Not that you're going to go and kick this person in the face, Gemini. Of course not. Uh, but I feel like there's an element of you thinking about running away. Okay. Now, of course, you're well within your rights if this person treated you a certain way, well within your rights to just go, nope, disconnect, going to ignore this person, run away, of course. Um, it may be more satisfying if you just said your piece and left. Uh, it's up to you what you want to do. I'm just going to clarify further. Can you please show me uh, what is on the other side of this? Page of Wands. Now, pages often bring news. This person's going to come running. They're actually going to try and be very enthusiastic and try and win you back. Okay. But I feel like you are on a journey of self-discovery. I feel like you're being enthusiastic about getting out there, venturing forth and seeing what else is there. You know, uh, pages often bring new energy. So I feel like you've got new passion to discover what's out there for you. And I feel like, you know, on, I know we're going through a major pandemic right now, so you may have certain restrictions in certain areas, but I feel like you're open to uh, sort of finding something a little bit more uh, new or striking up new passion elsewhere. I'm just going to clarify one more and then I'm going to get straight into a Celtic cross with you. Um, Four Swords, yeah. Four Swords says, yeah, you know what, I'm, ha I'm good by myself right now. Four Swords says, you know what, I'm kind of just recovering from this situation. I think I need to be alone right now to have some thoughts on what's going on. Um, but, I'm, you know, I'm thinking about discovering other fish in the sea. That's what I'm getting with this. Um, that would be the karma. This person's going to, I feel like, pursue you doggedly after that. Um, now, let me just go and do a Celtic cross for you to see what is coming through. I'm using the Tarot of the Mystical Moments by Catherine Welch Stein. I'm only reading the uprights in this deck, Gemini, apart from the challenge position, okay? Thank you so much, Spirit Guides, Great Angels. Can you please guide my beautiful... Oh, they... I need to... Yeah, they want that card. Of course they do. So, how are you feeling? Looking for a soulmate? Or perhaps you feel like you found your soulmate, okay? And you're shocked. Um, thank you so much, Spirit Guides, Guardian Angels. Can you please clarify the, the challenge in this situation? Six of Wands. That's coming up again. Ego, okay? Ego, or feeling like this person uh, retreated, gave up too easily. Lack of confidence you've got in this relationship now. Two of Cups indicates you. Uh, this is the heart of the matter. You're looking for your soulmate. You thought you found your soulmate, Gemini, in this person, your other half. Now, it's very important for you, especially a sign of duality, to find someone who kind of vibes with both sides of your energy, okay? Because you are that dual side. Now, it's difficult to find people in general to be your soulmate. It's very difficult to find that one person that sets your soul on fire and is, you know, everything you ever wanted and, you know, and then some. And I feel like I'm going to clarify, but I feel like right now there's an energy here of you either 
thinking you found that person in the person in the past who wants the, uh, to reunite with you, or you have just literally met somebody out of the blue and you're like, huh, maybe this person is my soulmate. So I feel like it's very, well, I mean, this is the, mo the energy in the moment. So just let me clarify. Four of Wands. Oh my gosh, someone you really want to like connect to. I mean, that you would like to have a higher level of commitment with, that you're willing to do anything, go higher with this person. I mean, the Four of Wands is a reuniting card as well, a reunion card. So I'm just going to quickly pull another card. Are you talking about the person in the past? Or is it someone, uh, you know, a friend from their past that they're reuniting? The higher friend. Oh my gosh, literally, this is them. They're saying you're going to get married to this person, Gemini. Whoever this person is, either you're married to this person and there was a separation or um, you uh, are wanting to get married to this person, whoever this person is. Uh, I mean, the Hierophant indicates a lesson. So either this person taught you a very harsh lesson and you want to connect with this person. I'm going to go one more, but there is going to be marriage here with this person. we got the Six of Cups. Okay, they're really, really laying it on the line now. Come on, Baba, get with the program, get with the energy. Six of Cups says reunite, reunite. Okay, it says the person from your past is coming on in to win you back, okay? And uh, you feel like this person was your soulmate. Okay, Six of Cups in the reverse says they may have unrealistic expectations. They just expect that they're going to waltz back on in and reunite with you. There's a, there was a little element of, you know, there's a borderline between confidence and um, ego. So just be mindful of that. This person feels like they, they're coming back on in, okay? Uh, so they are clarifying that you feel... The person that you separated from was a soulmate. Now we got the Six of Wands here. That's the challenge. Number one, you may not have heard from this person in a while because Six of Wands often means about a message coming on in. You may have felt like this person has retreated or uh, sort of hidden their passion or their emotions. You may feel like giving up on this. You know, you've got a lack of confidence or this person has not shown you. They've quit too soon on this. There's also an element of ego here. You may feel, um, and I mean ego as in this person made you work for their affections or played some sort of games here. Um, and you're like, I'm not a game player. What are you doing? You're actually just destroying this union. I, I'm bringing you love. I'm bringing you care. I feel like you're my soulmate. Why are you doing this? Why are you bringing drama to this? So the Six of Wands also uh, indicates that you may be wondering all the effort that you put into the relationship. What's the reward here? What is it? What are you getting out of this? So the challenge is trying to work out, is it worth saving if you want to be with this person or not? Uh, what is below my beautiful Gemini? We have the King of Cups, Scorpio energy. Ooh, Okay, so deep down, you're looking for someone who opens up their love, their heart, their, uh, you know, completely, fully, you want this person to be fair. Um, I feel like, you know, this is the highest love of all. So deep, deep down, you want to love this person with wild abandon, Gemini. But you may feel like it's not safe to do so. As you can see, this person, King of Cups, uh, you know, they got the ship there. Now, the ship is the big ship. This is the big launching of the soul, the emotions. Uh, and as you can see, shark infested waters here. The waters are choppy. So you may feel like right now, deep down, there's fear. You know, that you feel like now's not the right time to connect with this person because you don't trust them or there's insecurity here or you've you've sailed your ship in this water before and you've been bitten in some way or, you know, it feels dangerous. There's just an element, and I don't mean danger as in this person's going to physically hurt you, and I hope not. And if that's the case, then I would run a mile. Gemini, I would say no way. Okay, physical, uh, you know, uh, abuse, uh, mental abuse, any of those things, of course, uh, are very damaging. Now, again, I understand there's no such thing as just something that's black and white. There's a lot of complexities for humankind and the way that they deal in relationships and showing love or trauma and all of those things. But try and find something that's healthy. So make sure you only connect to things that are you know, healthy and right for you uh, in the vibration that you're in. But I feel like you've got a lot to offer in terms of your love. You wanted to open up. I feel like there's a bit of a psychic bond between you and this person. You both get each other. I also feel like there's moments when you're thinking about this person, they reach out to you and vice versa. Uh, there's just something other about this relationship. Now, this person may have Scorpio in their chart or very strong water in their chart. Um, so deep down, I feel like there's a hesitancy to go back to this. Okay, but there's still love. Deep down, there's still love, a, a lot of it as well. Okay, um, and I feel like you're trying to listen to your intuition and it's saying, go on, launch the ship. And the other part of you is like, no, but look what happened last time. Okay, so we got the emperor in the past. 
The emperor signifies someone who thought about going the distance, someone that you uh, respected in the past, someone that you thought was the one, the counterpart, someone that you felt uh, you, know, you could trust uh, in order to plan a future with. Uh, or that you saw your future with this person. But there's an element here of this person controlling the situation, either playing games with you, um, keeping you uh, stuck or attached, or there's some sort of jealousy here. I feel with the, uh, the Emperor card, this person brought a lot of chaos in the past um, and a lot of avoidance in the energy. So I feel like it was a bit of a power play. Now, the Emperor card is often a card that is respected, but the, the Emperor normally keeps their uh, feelings Quite hidden it's hard to access to those feelings so I'm just gonna pull a quick card on that Emperor card before we move forward now male or female it's not a gender specific reading it's about the energy but I feel like you may have felt like you found your counterpart in the past a soulmate even maybe a twin flame um, but there was a controlling element to it uh, you know if you have a look at the card itself that person there is you know the gave a chess there it's like this person always pulled moves on you that you're like, why are we playing games? Why is this a game? This should not be a game. This is my heart. This is my soul. What, what, what's happening here? So I feel like someone, yeah, I feel like someone liked the drama, to be honest. But anyway, uh, we got the King of Cups. So, I mean, either you're definitely dealing with the Scorpio. We got the King of Cups again, but this time in reverse. This person... I feel like you're still longing after this person, whoever this person represents for you, uh, because there's a lot of love still for this person. Uh, but they withdrew their cup of love, emotional manipulation uh, as well. So just be mindful what it is that you want, if you want this person back, Gemini. I'm not here to judge, as I said. I feel like you're judging the situation, whether you want this person back or not, um, or whether you're manifesting something new. Um, I feel like, as I said, it's a resounding no at the moment for you, uh, but let's see, because I'm getting like a mixed energy. You want soulmate energy, you may have felt like you have already met this person, but I feel like you're having to put, force yourself to turn away from that energy in order to open up to other love because uh, there was just a lot of games. Okay, or someone being avoidant of their true love for you, someone who did not tell you really how they felt you you could in feel it you could feel it intuitively uh but i feel like they uh, kept their feelings hidden okay um i'm just gonna pull a card why did this person keep their feelings hidden why did this person keep their feelings hidden why do they play games or what was what's going on there how would you like to receive the world okay king of wands Oh, okay. Now, either they had not quite closed down a cycle with somebody else, Gemini, or because um, we got uh, the World card and we got the King of Wands here. So they were, either they had just closed down a cycle with somebody else that they were in a passionate relationship with, um, and they uh, were not looking for anything to settle down with. Okay, this person also may have wanted, because uh, I feel like this person... Uh, how can I put this? I feel like this person wanted a lot, want to be very successful within their career. And uh, the emperor is someone who is very business oriented. So I feel like this person may have chosen a career path or may have wanted to like travel the world and be successful and be in the spotlight for something, someone who's an influencer. So I feel like they align themselves with those goals and dreams and they did not even factor love into their situation. But I feel also they were closing down a cycle with somebody else, had been hurt by somebody else. Um, and this person may have been an Aries. Um, but anyway, uh, yeah, so I feel immature energy because this person had been hurt by somebody in the past and it made them close themselves off to opening up. Now, I'm not here to give anyone excuses at all. Uh, you know, if bad behavior is bad behavior. Um, I'm just here to understand what happens so that I can navigate the reading and see how, uh, you know, the energy transmutes in the future. Now, what is the potential? What is the potential here? We got the Nine of Cups. Again, it's like the Magician card. Whatever you're, whatever you're thinking, your wish is their command. The universe says whatever you're hoping for will be the outcome. The Nine of Cups is a wish fulfillment card. It says you can achieve your desire. You just got to know what you want. And we, we've got the Resistant cards here, which is, do you know what you want yet? Do you know whether you want this person back fully? Okay, um, I feel like you're weighing that up right now, but you can have everything that you desire. 
okay? It's just a case of you deciding it. And then whatever you're thinking about, you're bringing about right there. So if you want that person to return from the past, or if you want to reignite something with that person and get full love from that person, remember, don't think about that person in the energy that you left them. Okay, think about them in a higher vibration, someone who's got their SHIT together, someone who is, uh, you know, confident, someone who is, uh, you know, loving and open about their emotions, someone who's transformed, and you will magnetize them back into your world in that state, okay? Um, a lot of people, they start remembering memories of the time that this happened, that happened, they think, oh, well, I'm manifesting them back because I'm thinking about them about this time. But that's a negative time. Why would you want the same negativity back? Anyway, what's happening in the near future? What's happening in the near future for my beautiful Gemini? Now, in the next couple of weeks, couple of, uh, well, this is from mid-September right through to mid-October. What's happening for you? Oh, my gosh. Gemini. Now, just to let you know, there's two kings of cups, two emperors in here. Uh, there's two of everything in this deck. It does say in the deck that you can take them out and choose which one connects to you. But my guides asked me to leave them in. Okay, so I have left them in because that is the way that my guides have asked me to do it. Uh, we got king cups. So what's happening here? The person, the love that you're truly desiring here, I feel like you're going to take a leap of faith and you're going to embark on a big, you're going to, you're going to let that big ship sail. Okay, uh, I feel like there's a lot of love. You're going to have a lot of love. If it's a Scorpio that you're trying to manifest back, Gemini, I feel like this person is coming back in the right energy for you. Um, and you will find the highest love of all. Now, if you want someone new, uh, I feel like that is also what you'll get. Because the King of Cups basically says you're going to get someone who is psychically connected to you, someone who's a peacemaker, someone who brings respect and a depth of love, someone who is willing to, you know, open up to that great journey of love, that great challenge. As you can see, you know, it's like sometimes love feels impossible. And you, you can see right there that um, this big old ship has been launched, even in rocky seas. And, uh, you know, their uh, small little sort of um, tunnel there, or whatever you want to call it, uh, it's managing to go through that small space. So it's like, the impossible can be possible. This person can open up to the great journey of love should you want it. But if you do not want, or this person, uh, you know, there is someone else coming on in, in the wings. I'm going to clarify this card separately because the King of Cups can rep represent like someone who just loves you with wild abandon. Someone who's willing to open up to that level of vulnerability and show you their true heart. No matter the, the, the weather, I feel like they want to be by your side. Uh, I do feel like it is this person, but anyway, um, thank you so much, Spirit Guides, Great Angels. You're basically getting whatever it is that you want. Thank you so much, Spirit Guides. Four of Wands. They're getting the same, they're giving the same cards. Four of Wands here. The person you want to reunite with or the person, um, you know, because Four of Wands is a reunion card. Someone that you want to be in a high level commitment with or that you want to marry. That's the person you want to marry or settle down with. Thank you so much, Spirit Guides, Great Angels. Four of Cups. Uh, just when you're feeling uh, that there's nothing happening here, uh, there's also, I feel like there's going to be two options here, but uh, when there's, it's almost like you've given up, but all of a sudden the universe brings a surprise on in for you, and uh, you know, that surprise is more emotionally fulfilling than uh, what you've had before, either with this person, or if you choose not to be with this person, Gemini, um, because I mean, right now your energy is no way. I feel like you're going to sh you're denying it. Uh, but the, the judgment card also says, I'm kind of denying it, but sometimes I'm thinking that maybe, maybe there is a way. Uh, so I'm just going to pull one more card because I feel like there, with the four of wands, it's like, do I reunite? Or do I open myself up to a new option from the universe? Nothing's happening right now. I haven't met anybody new. So which way should I go? Can you clarify? Okay. Four, three, oops, I rarely get, oh my gosh, Gemini, let me get my tongue back in my mouth. Uh, I rarely get tongue-tied, okay? Uh, and I talk a lot, as you know. Uh, but we got another four. That's a four of pentacles, which is long-term security. So you're asking yourself, which is the best one for long-term security? Which way can I trust? And you got three fours right off the bat. I mean, Gemini put on the lottery or something because this is like a major sort of uh, reading here to get... Two kings of cups out of the deck, four, uh, sorry, three fours. I mean, 
there's a lot of synchronicity happening already so major change is happening for you what advice are you giving to yourself in this moment my beautiful gemini what advice are you giving to yourself in this moment thank you so much for it guys great angels can you please guide Um, now, they're just saying uh, Ren to me, Ren. So either your name is Ren or um, that is a nickname. Um, I mean, it could be a bird, you know, uh, like a Ren. Uh, so maybe you're seeing a Ren. Uh, I'm not really sure how it resonates. They just said Ren. So I'm just giving you what I've been get, uh, I've been given. If it does not resonate for you in any shape or form, uh, then it doesn't mean it's not your reading. It just means that that person it does connect to, they just need to pay close attention as their attention may have wavered. Uh, your advice is Three of Wands. Three of Wands says you're tired of waiting. It says you're waiting for the right moment to move forward, perhaps to find manifest something new. Okay. Okay. You're waiting. They just said uh, you're waiting. Um, and as you can see, that tower, she's she's risen up there in a tower of strength. So whatever this was that was shocking, it's made you stronger. But uh, the Three of Wands often means waiting for... Um, a, a lucky break or uh, you know an indication that it is safe for you to sail that ship for example you're waiting for the right moment so I'm just going to quickly pull a card on that three of wands can you please clarify that three of wands for my beautiful Gemini what do they need to know can you please guide them for their highest good three of cups so three of cups now three of cups may be that you're asking your friends advice um, you know, this is a, Three Cups is a celebration card, but it's also about opening up to friendships. Perhaps you're, uh, you know, seeing if you can be a friend with this person first, Gemini. Uh, I feel like that would, well, I'm not really sure that, well, Four of Pentacles again. So long-term security. I feel like, yeah, I, more, the energy that I'm getting more from this card is that you're asking friends um, your advice, uh, their advice about this. Um, Four of Pentacles is about a desire for uh, long-term security, but it's also holding really tight to someone, uh, feeling it very difficult to open up to that level of vulnerability because you may have been hurt in the past. Uh, we'll go one more. Queen of Wands. Knight of Wands. And the Lovers. You, okay. So... Queen of Wands is an energy of you being attractive, uh, being very, uh, you know, sort of uh, turning heads, having a lot of interest. And I do feel like there is someone new coming on in here who will pique your interest. The Knight of Wands, uh, you may be wondering if this person is a fling or not. Uh, if it's something, I feel like it's a psychic bond between you and this person, um, someone new that comes on in here. I mean, you've got the Lover's card again. So, the, uh, not again, but this is the first This is the first time you got the Lover's card. You got the Lover's card here, Gemini, which is your card. Um, and I do feel like that means there is a choice. So, I feel like you're attracting a lot of interest at this time, or will be in the next couple of weeks. Uh, I, I'd say a month and a half, actually. Uh, not that you're not always getting a lot of uh, interest, but I do feel like you're going to notice a lot more people checking you out things like that but i feel like there's uh, someone else coming on in here um, and i feel like you've got a choice when it comes to love um so but I, I feel like your heart is deeply set on this king of cups energy uh but there is a potential here with this knight of wands now normally i would get an energy of a uh, player energy with this but i'm not getting it from this card this time around what i'm getting is uh that there is a sort of a, a fling coming on in here, Gemini, that actually could lead to more, okay? So um, let's put it like that. Uh, now, what is the external environment? Two of Pentacles, undecided, weighing up options. So that is your challenge position. As I, with that judgment card, you're weighing up your options and the environment, the external environment is you're trying to weigh up your options there as well. Uh, so basically, um, you know, I feel, I feel like you're thinking about long-term security because all those um, buildings are there. They represent stability. But as you can see, she's bouncing on one foot. It's like, how can I be doubly sure? So you're going to weigh up your options there. Now, let us see a hope and a fear. Now, interesting. They are giving me the smell of like a barbecue. 
like charcoal or something like that. So if you are, for example, I mean, I cannot imagine that you would be uh, listening to me as you're doing a barbecue. Uh, I mean, maybe you're prepping a barbecue or perhaps your neighbors are having a barbecue and you can smell the smell. Uh, so if that's you, there's something in this message for you. Um, it just smells like something's burning, but I am attributing it to a uh, barbecue. I mean, I'm hoping that, you know, there's nothing in the area that's on fire and you can smell it. I'm hoping it's not that, but I can just smell that smell. You know, it could be like people burning papers in the garden or maybe you're burning paper or something like that. So please take it as it resonates. Um, now, hope and a fear. Three of Pentacles. Can we mend this? Can we make it something that is stable? Can, uh, you know, or should I go for uh, another person? Uh, there, there's an option, okay? Uh, because uh, th Three of Pentacles often means that you have a choice, uh, one or the other person. Uh, and as you can see, something that was delicate, like a flower, uh, it's all made of brick there. So it indicates that something that was delicate before can be repaired, it can be made secure. And a little bit of help from your friends uh, to help you realize that if you want, but that is your call. Also, the fear here is that uh, this person may not work towards mending it properly. They will not offer uh, support in the union. Uh, I'm going to pull another card in that. Okay. Thank you so much, Spirit Guys. Got angels. Can you please guide my beautiful... Oh, they just said no. Thank you so much. I'm sure grateful. No. Uh, no more cards in that position. They want me to go straight to the outcome position. That's what they've asked me to do, so I will do it. Thank you so much, Spirit Guys. Great Angels, can you please? Thank you so much. Okay, they want another. Thank you so much, Spirit Guys. Great Angels. Okay. And that is all. Thank you so much. I'm truly grateful. We have Page of Swords. We got the King of Pentacles. And we got the Eight of Pentacles. Okay, so, I mean, you've got a lot of kings going on in your reading as well. Three fours, three kings. Uh, so, you know... Um, two threes, two twos, so a lot of synchronicity, so there's a lot going on here, there's major changes here. Page of Swords, someone is curious about you, Gemini, and also pages they bring news. So someone is going to reach out to you. Uh, I feel like when you get a page of Swords, that is someone wanting to reveal a truth to you, someone who wants to tell you how they feel, someone who wants to open up, someone who has learned their lesson. Can you see? They're on standing on the book there, and they want to, they want to think about the future. They want something to grow uh, with you, and I feel like uh, they're going to come in and talk. So there's communication coming on in in the near future. Uh, well, that's the near future position. King of Cups energy is there is a lot of love. Um, so I feel like it's that person. But you do have a choice. So in the near future, that person that you're separated from is coming towards you. Also, uh, long term, if you don't want to be with that person, there's a King of Pentacles energy coming on in as well. Um, so this is someone who may have their own business, someone who, uh, male or female, not a gender specific reading, but someone who's solid, loyal, dependable, grounded. Not to say that this person isn't, they haven't learned their lesson, but I do feel like you've got a choice of people, okay? Um, and notice, uh, you know, that uh, kings in this deck as well, they, 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 it's like a uh, king, it's masculine, feminine energy, so it really doesn't matter about the, the, the gender here. Um, the King of Pentacles indicates someone who, uh, you know, wants to invest in a union with you, um, but there is someone from your past who is, I feel, who already knows you, very curious about you, is already going to reach out before you meet somebody new. I feel like the person in the past will reach out before you meet somebody new, just so you're aware. Also, we got the Eight of Pentacles, so that is, again, I'm just getting mixed signals because I guess you have to make a choice. Eight of Pentacles says, can we can we save this? Can we repair this? Okay, is this something that can be repaired? You're mastering yourself. You're asking, has this person worked on themselves? Um, and, you know, uh, as you can see, this, this little figure is mending a butterfly, someone who is transformed. Butterflies represent transformation or transition. So um, can we transform this relationship? Can we mend it? Can we make it something beautiful again? Can it blossom? Um, I feel like you and this person have learned a lot, so uh, it's your choice. But also, I'm getting this energy with that Page of Swords, so I'm going to pull a card on it, uh, that you may be curious about a new option, okay? So uh, I'm just going to pull a quick card on that. Can you please clarify the Page of Swords for my beautiful Gemini before we close the reading? What do they need to know? Can you please clarify? The... Oh, sorry. We... <laughs> Yeah, I'm only reading the uprights in this deck, as I said. And you got the last card of the Faded Energy. Magician card says, whatever you're thinking about, whatever it is you want. The Magician says, thoughts become things. You can have what you want, Gemini. So if you're thinking about the person in the past, that's who you'll decide 
on having. If you want the person in the future or, or, or a new person that's coming on in here, that is your call too. You get what you want. That Nine of Cups says wish fulfillment. Whoever you're thinking about, whatever you're manifesting, that will be yours. It shall be so. Okay, so I will leave it there. Um, they're basically indicating uh, it's your choice. I'm going to get a final um, Spirit of the Animals Oracle card for you um, before we close. No, thank you so much, Spirit Guys, Great Angels. And um, it says dog, friend. Okay, someone who's loyal, someone who can also be a best friend as well as a lover. That's very important. It says, today, I will love without condition. My energy and enthusiasm are an inspiration. I choose to be happy. I am protector and friend. I also feel like you are protected. Okay, so uh, your friends have also got your back is what they're indicating. Because they're, they're drawing my energy back over to here to when you had the three of cups. So uh, they're indicating your friends have your back. Reach out to your friends and, you know, uh, see if you can help hash it out and get some sort of clarity there. I'm just going to give you a trinket before we close. Thank you so much for your guys. Angels. Ooh. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> so I close my eyes when I get the trinkets, of course, because I like to be uh, surprised, and I am. We have another tower. So maybe the tower is the breakthrough, Gemini. Perhaps this shocking energy is the breakthrough in itself. Also, Paris could be a, f a factor in this. Perhaps this is, I mean, Paris is considered the romantic capital of the world. I mean, there's a lot of restrictions in the world right now in terms of travel. So uh, getting into Paris may be a little bit difficult, uh, but it, you may have had a, 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 a trip put on hold or something. So if that resonates with you in some way, but I feel like they're indicating that there is love and that there is a tower. The tower is the breakthrough or a, a tower shocking moment brings a breakthrough for you. Okay. They want it on the tower. Of course they do. I mean, I don't think I've ever had uh, a tower trinket come out there because that's the Eiffel Tower. I've never had it being requested that it's on a tower, but that's your energy. You're doing the shock. You're doing the energy. You're, you're, breaking something down in order to rebuild it stronger. And we also have a key. Okay, now the key has got planetary alignments on this. And I got this key earlier as well for uh, Pisces reading. So perhaps you're dealing with a Pisces. But there's a breakthrough here. Something is going to unlock. You know, there is um, something that, you, you know, for example, if you felt like you've been in love with this person for a while and their heart space has been a little bit closed off for whatever reason, you're about to unlock it. They are indicating though a time period for me, which they did um, in the Pisces reading as well, which is uh, they're showing me um, a planetary alignment. They're showing me uh, Jupiter trining your sign, uh, uh, sorry, aspecting your sign, not trining, uh, aspecting your sign. So when Jupiter aspects Gemini at the end of December, I know that seems a long way away, they're indicating you will have already had a breakthrough and there will be love by then. So if you're looking for love, they're indicating uh, that is your time period. There will have been a breakthrough and, you know, there will be love by then. So you will have decided everything will be uh, so by then. Okay, where would you like this? Where would you like this? They want it on the King of Cups. Which King of Cups? Which King of Cups? They want it on this King of Cups here. Okay. So I will leave it there, my beautiful Gemini. I hope something resonates in this reading for you. If it does, please like or subscribe to my channel. Completely free for you. All you have to do is press the little bell. That lets you know when I update my next message. It lets me know that you resonate with this reading, which is very important for me. Now, just as I was talking there, they were showing me um, a pot of oil. So either you're cooking... Uh, and you've, you're heating up some oil or something like that, they're showing me a pot of oil. I mean, maybe um, you, uh, maybe you're, you're actually, you've got a pot of oil that you put on your skin. I'm not sure, but I feel like it's something that you're heating up. So, I mean, it could be because you're waxing if you're, um, I mean, you don't heat up oil. So it may be, I don't think it's wax. I think it's oil. Okay. They're showing me a pot of oil. So if that's you, if it resonates in some way, please take it as it resonates. I mean, oil is for strengthening things and, you know, um, moisturizing and making things healthy. So, um, yeah. Anyway, I'll leave that there. If you'd like to be in with a chance to win a free personal reading, my beautiful Gemini, all you have to do is champion yourself in September. Uh, know that you can do it. Okay, whatever it is that you want to succeed in. So, for example, if you want to be a famous artist or if you just want to be an artist that earns money, uh, you know, get a piece of your work out there and champion yourself. Show people what you can do. Um, or if you want to set up your own business but you feel like it's a little bit nerve-wracking, you know, take the first step. 
uh, you know, set up a, an email account that has your business name in it or set up a Facebook page or, you know, a YouTube channel with your uh, company name or whatever. And just take the first step, signal to the universe you've got this. If, for example, you want to lose weight, you know, um, you know, you got this, you can do it. Um, just take that first step and create a plan. Um, and all you have to do is put the words, I will succeed in the comments box below. It's an affirmation and you will succeed my beautiful Gemini you absolutely will I will succeed and all you have to do is pop that in the comments box below I'll gravitate towards one lucky subscriber on the 29th of September and I'll announce a winner in a video okay thank you so much my beautiful Gemini um, thank you so much uh, for all of your wonderful energy love and light